everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're here for the first time, my name is Murli. Today we're going to dive deep into Notability, an extremely popular note-taking app for the iPad, the iPhone and the Mac. Notability is a note-taking app to help you capture your thoughts combining multimedia, voice, handwriting, photos, sketches and typing to bring your notes to life. It also helps you add and annotate PDFs. It takes advantage of all the functionality and connectivity that your iPad has to offer. I use Notability as one of my two main apps for note taking. It can help you with school, work or capture your ideas. You don't ever have to part with your notes again. Just share them through email, AirDrop, Dropbox or Google Drive for example. Use sharing to get feedback even through audio, markups or annotations on PDF. There are a few questions that you ask in order to feel comfortable with an app. What does it take to create quality notes? What is the experience like to write with Notability using an Apple Pencil? Will Notability help me organize my notes better? What are the tools and features of Notability? And finally, we will cover my opinion on Notability as a handwriting note taking app. And why do I think that way? So let's dive deeper into what Notability is trying to achieve for capturing handwritten notes. Let's do a quick recap on what it takes, whether you're using Notability or not for note taking. I would divide them into five things. If you don't end up buying Notability or any other note taking app, you still need the right tools. To capture the salient points from a class or a meeting, to comprehend, to review and actively use those notes and expand on it later. The handwriting experience matters to you as well. You need to organize, lay out and retrieve for later without double the effort or having to sieve through a mountain of information. You need to pay attention and participate to absorb the content for later. So you need a system that helps you with all of that. Being able to add visual elements that tell the story concurrently or later into the notes without affecting the flow. So what's the experience like to write with Notability using an Apple Pencil? The biggest feature that you will determine whether you will continue to use the app or not is a fun handwriting experience. The experience consists of the smoothness of the handwriting, including the fluidity or the lag and the control over the curved and straight letters. How does the handwriting look on the screen after it's been written? For example, if you write with a pen and paper and the pen you write with could be a ballpoint pen or an ink pen, you're trying to replicate the same inky feeling when you write with an iPad. Most importantly, can you fall in love with writing on another subject? surface or a medium. The surface is a great influencer. What I'm talking about is the feeling of writing on paper versus writing on glass. These three choices are pretty personal. If I were to break all of this down in terms of technology that the iPad comes with, I would say it's determined by four factors. The iPad Pro screen has a 120Hz display refresh rate for smooth drawing. The Apple Pencil second generation has a latency of 9 milliseconds. Notability incorporates both these advantages. And finally, a paper-like surface would provide more resistance to get that pen to paper feel. To achieve that, I use a screen protector. That's called paper-like. Survey results show that more than 51% of people spend more than 30 minutes per day searching for documents. So you may want to pay attention to this one. Notability helps to organize your notes. As a default, you get all notes and unfiled notes. But by pressing the plus button, you can organize this into dividers, subjects and notes. Dividers group subjects, subjects hold notes. Consider the whole thing to be a digital binder. Say you take math as the thing that you are learning at school. And within math, you have different subjects like algebra, geometry and arithmetic. For example, each day's class could be a note. 
Algebra, geometry and arithmetic could be subjects, all filed under a divider called math. If you work, then you could consider the hierarchy to be say team meetings or management meetings. Under unfiled notes, you can create templates for example and duplicate them quickly and drag them into the subject to start your new note quickly. You could also use a divider to keep any older references that you want to keep but not get into the way. Note that there's a trash can at the bottom. This will keep old notes for 30 days without deleting them completely. So you can recover a note if you've accidentally deleted it. Under settings, you can also have colorful subjects and matching the iOS appearance to help you manage your subjects by color. You'll also notice that you can manage your stationary defaults, color defaults and font defaults. There's even an option to include handwriting defaults if you're a left-hander like me. The other important feature is to be able to save your note into a cloud backup like Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. The best part about the design of Notability is its simplicity and bringing out options that are most meaningful to you based on real-world experiences. I would divide the Tools and Features section into the following parts. Configuration and navigation, stationary, tools and features. In my view, the biggest power of Notability is in its ability to capture and convert an ordinary note into multimedia. The top bar in Notability allows you to control the app. To start a new note, you just have to press this icon on the top right hand corner. To change and customize Notability, press the settings option. You can configure language, drawing shapes, turn on a left handed mode and detect palm rejection. You can even change themes. If you want to change the background color to your overlay on your stationery and the paper itself, the blank paper, the grid paper or the line paper, then this is the option. You can choose between a ballpoint pen that has a consistent thickness or a pressure sensitive pen that allows you to vary the thickness. There's also a whole variety of colors that you can choose from for your ink. You can also customize the color palette that they provide you and add additional colors. Similarly, you can use the highlighter to highlight the text. In the latest update, they've made sure that the highlighter goes under the text rather than over it to make sure that the text stays legible. If you want to change the title of the note, first select the pencil tool and then do a long press on the title and you can change to a custom name. The text icon lets you type in whatever you want to into your notes. The erase button allows you to erase. You can erase a partial keystroke or a full keystroke. You can also choose between 12 eraser sizes. If you want to zoom into a note and add fine text in a particular place, all you have to do is to press your Apple Pencil and hold. The scissor tool allows you to move your notes around. If you notice, in Notability, it doesn't quite show you a shape tool anymore, even though you can draw a geometric shape pretty easily. To draw the shape, do a freehand of the shape, but then keep holding the pencil for about two seconds. That's when the shape appears and then you can let go. You can then resize, change color or fill, depending on what suits you for your needs. Once you get used to it, you will love its simplicity. If you want to navigate between pages, press the multiple page view icon to navigate. If you want to add a page, just press the three dots. If you want to mark important pages that you need for quick reference, all you need to do is to click here. Scrolling between pages is a PDF style scrolling from top to bottom. Notability can handle large files with more than 50 pages pretty well. To move between the different notes, all you need to do is to swipe in from left to right. And then you can quickly hop on to the past 10 recent files. Alternatively, you can search for your note. On the right side, you have the plus sign which lets you add different things like a photo, a GIF, stickies, a web clipboard from Safari or a document scan. After adding them, you can resize or move things around. Notability provides you with a unique feature that allows you to go back to a meeting or a classroom later. It does that by recording audio along with text that is being written down. The mic icon allows you to record the note. So when your lecturer is talking or when there is a discussion around in the room, the discussion gets captured even though you might not have written something. If you do write something while there was a voice in the background, it gets captured at the same time. So if you tap on the icon, you can also manage all of your recordings. 
I found this particularly useful in a classroom or at work. Let's say that you're storyboarding your presentation and you're recording simultaneously all the conversation that's happening and all the interactions that happen around in the room. Later on, that helps you get a full perspective. Just by clicking on the words or on a diagram, you can go back to exactly what was said at that point in time. So by listening, understanding and remembering at the same time while taking notes, you can keep your head in the game and make the most out of each minute. Missed a sentence or a paragraph? No worries, you can go back to it later. So what's my opinion on Notability? If you're an interactive note taker, Notability's crown jewel is a feature that you should take maximum advantage of. If you take notes mainly for research or for detailed study, you could find that good notes also fits the bill. I use both these apps. I've done a complete and a detailed comparison between good notes and notability in another video. Just pop in to compare if you're on the fence in terms of choosing your note taking app. If you're already using one of these note taking apps, you may just want to stick to it unless you see the crown jewel in notability that makes the huge difference. It's time to hear from you. What app do you use to take notes? What's your experience with Notability? Leave your comments below. For the videos on tech, see my links here. Don't forget to like and press subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. I post every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for now.